I'm the master brother, and today hey, I'm what, gonna be. What, what's going on? What? I'm the master brother. Yeah, I thought we were gonna film today. <laughs> it's just my desk though. I'm gonna be doing my desk setup. What? Okay. Transformation. Right, I'm gonna take the day off. No, no, you can help me film. Nah, I'm gonna take the day off. Oh god. It's a one man show today. So I'm gonna be walking you through my complete desk transformation, going from this to making my setup optimized for working on a PC and video editing on a Mac. Let's get into it. For context, I work as a data analyst at a large consulting firm, and for that I use my Lenovo ThinkPad Classic, and I also do the video editing on the side on my MacBook Pro. So I kind of need a setup that'll work with both. So currently, I have a 23.5 inch curved 1080p Samsung monitor, and it does an okay job for work, because I don't really need uh, any particularly fancy display, but when it comes to the video editing, 4K video on this display does not look good at all, like it looks really grainy, and the colors are just not very good, like it looks really orange or red, so I'm definitely gonna need to replace it to kick my video editing up a notch. Now in terms of my keyboard, I've got this cheap one that I got off of Amazon a couple years ago, and it does an okay job, it's kind of loud so it sounds mechanical if I'm on a video call or something, but other than that, it's, it's okay, the keys don't feel that great, and it's also only built for Windows, so it's really annoying if I have to use it with my Mac, because I'm having to like figure out which keys do what, and yeah, the layout is just a bit off, so definitely going to need a keyboard to replace this one. And then, my mouse is also from work, it's just like a regular ThinkPad mouse, it's okay, it's tiny, not very ergonomic, so I think I'm going to replace this as well. Um, just got a little standard mouse pad here, and... Also, my laptop stand came from work. It's uh, it's not the most practical, but I mean, it's fine. It does the job. So the reason I'm making this upgrade is because I really just want one keyboard, one mouse, one monitor that's just going to work seamlessly between both my PC and my MacBook Pro. Because right now, my keyboard is only really for Windows. The monitor just won't cut it for video editing. My mouse is just like a very basic mouse, so yeah. I really just want a super productive, but also minimal, clean aesthetic setup. So let's get upgrading. Well that was therapeutic, for me at least. And that monitor is so heavy, so it's a bit of a workout as well. <laughs> and by the way, everything that's behind me that you see on my desk is linked in the description in my kit, so you can check out everything that I've got and even get it for yourself too. So let's start off with what hasn't changed. So my desk and the chair are both the same still, they've both come from Ikea, and yeah, they're pretty standard. I've also kept my Echo Dot third generation and my speakers, the Harman Kardon Soundsticks Wireless, and I've got the speakers plugged into my Echo Dot, so if I play music from the Echo Dot, the sound quality is amazing compared to whatever that dinky little speaker does, and it's also really good to control my lights, so yeah, really happy with that setup. I also usually use headphones when I'm editing videos, so yeah, the speakers don't really need to be plugged into my computer, I could connect to them through Bluetooth if I wanted to, but also the monitor has an aux cable output, so I can always just change the cable from my Echo Dot to the monitor and then play the sound from my computer through the speakers. Speaking of the monitor, I think this one is absolutely brilliant. It's a 4K 32 inch display by BenQ, specifically it's the PD3200U, and yeah, it's great. The color accuracy is amazing, the resolution is amazing, like I can finally edit 4K videos without getting super annoyed that it looks grainy and stuff. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's got USB ports on the side, SD cards, the aux port I mentioned, there's so much going on with it that I could do a whole nother video about it, so if you do want to see a video on it, let me know in the comments below. Initially, I was using my USB-C hub to connect to the monitor through HDMI, but unfortunately the hub itself was limited to 4K at 30Hz, which just looked really bad, like the mouse movement was really choppy, so yeah, it was pretty much unusable. So I decided to keep the hub, and instead of buying an entirely new hub, I just got a different cable, so I got an HDMI to USB-C cable, because it was just a lot cheaper, rather than spending £60 or $75 on a hub, this cable was like £15, £20. So now, rather than only plugging in my USB-C hub, which would be one cable, I now have to do two cables, but, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's worth the money for me, like, 
I don't have the 50 pounds to spend right now because I've just spent so much money on the monitor. So yeah, it's kind of about just being reasonable with the kind of desk setup that you're doing. It's a work in progress. I'll get a new hub eventually. Now this USB-C hub actually isn't that bad. So it's got two USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C power delivery port, and then an HDMI and a VGA display input. And that was given to me by work. So, I mean, no cost to me. So yeah, I just figured might as well keep it and use it for what it's worth. <laughs> because I paid nothing for it. <laughs> One of the USB-A 3.0 ports is being taken up by my USB receiver for my keyboard and mouse. And for these, I've gone with the classic productivity setup of the MX Keys and the MX Master 3. I love them together, like they pair so nicely, just both aesthetically and also functionally. So I can use the Logitech Unify software. So instead of having two USB receivers, one for the keyboard and one for the mouse, I can just have both of them connect to the same USB receiver so that it's only one port that's being taken up. Then whichever computer I'm connected to with my USB-C hub will just be automatically connected to the keyboard and the mouse at the same time. That being said though, both the keyboard and mouse have multi-device functionality, so I could very easily switch them between the USB receiver and two other Bluetooth devices, which I do sometimes do, but I think just having the connectivity directly through that USB-C hub just really makes sense and it's really quick and practical. I also got the Magic Trackpad 2 from Apple, but to be honest, it doesn't work too well with Windows. I haven't tried downloading many drivers, but my work computer is pretty limited in what I can download. And also it's not as easy to switch between different devices. So yeah, to be honest, I think I'm gonna keep the MX Master because it's just so good for productivity with so many different buttons that you can program, different scrolling methods. I mean, even for video editing, I've actually gotten really used to it, even though I used to use my trackpad on my computer. The MX Keys is also amazing. I just love the way the keys feel. My words per minute has gone up by about 10% since I got it. And I also absolutely love how on this version, they've got both the Windows and the Mac version of the keys. So you can see the command key, but you can also see the Windows start button, which just works perfectly for me with this dual setup. So in terms of the dual setup, I've gotten one of these two tiered metal laptop stands and for me it works perfectly. So the top laptop I can have open so I can use two screens if I need to, but then also I can have my second laptop underneath it and then just change those USB-C connections from the top one to the bottom one and then instantly just use my second computer on my main display. So yeah, it works really, really well. Last but not least, I've got my desk mat and wrist rest from Delta Hub. The desk mat just finishes off the look of the desk. It brings together everything really nicely. It goes really well with the MX Master and the MX Keys. And yeah, it just helps me keep everything really nice and tidy. The wrist rest also goes perfectly with the MX Master 3. And it really helps to reduce any sort of pain or discomfort that comes after long hours of using the mouse. So I definitely recommend it. That's all for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments about my desk, if there's any tips or tricks that you'd recommend or anything else that I could add. And with that, that's all from the Master Brother. I'll catch you on the flippity flip.